look, as we started wrapping, uh, start to wrap up here, Bill. Uh, I wanted to to talk about the foundation that you that you head up. Um, I think you know what you guys do. Uh, you know, you know, alcohol drivers and drunk drivers to me is, is like this shit has to be made accountable of. Yeah. Uh, the Carrie Ann DeMott Foundation. Can can you please talk about us and and just and go into a little bit? Yeah, and and thank you, thank you for that opportunity. You know, uh, so almost seven years ago, in October of 2015, my my youngest daughter was on her way home and she was killed in a head-on collision. A drunk driver hit her head-on um, and took her life instantly. Um, so you you you're trying to navigate what what that means and you're a dad. Yeah. So you can only, all you always think is the good things and what you, you can do for your kids and how things are going. She's 20 years old. She was getting ready to graduate college. She's, she had her whole life in front of her and you, you have to decide what, what you're going to do. And so I had to sit down with my, my other daughter and my, my son and, my wife and we were trying to figure out life and I always taught my kids to, to be better people and to do things. And I knew what Carrie was going to do. So we started the foundation to bring, to bring more awareness to drunk driving. What it turned out to be was the more people I met and families that were affected. And as we're trying to figure out how to, to keep moving forward, Carrie's mission kept coming forward and people kept sharing. And so we knew we had to speak on her behalf. And we knew that she could not become a statistic and she could not just be a memory and someone go, Oh, what a shame. And so we started the foundation. The foundation started as this little thing. Um, now I travel uh, the country here. We speak to students all over the country. We work with law enforcement. I have spoken in Tallahassee on the state level of law and DUI laws. Uh, we're getting ready to speak on the federal level. And so this foundation has become a, a platform for families that have been affected and to stop something that we can control. And then it turned into the kids coming to me and talking to me about social media and bullying and, and, and distracted driving and impaired driving. And, and the weird thing about it is these are all things I've been prepared for from wrestling, yeah. how to speak to people, how to, who knows more about the, the, the craziness of social media and build them up. Yeah. And I get to share that and I get to enlighten them on how to navigate those things and, and the bullying aspects. And you talk to these kids and you see it, it's life changing and you're saving lives. And then you talk, I get to introduce my daughter to grownups that have made decisions and we've all made decisions. You know, we don't think about them, but now in a day of Uber, Lyft, taxis, friends, family, walk, buses, trains, we can't continue to let people make a decision that are taking lives for no reason. So, <coughs> excuse me. I have a, I have a, I just have a, a mission that I'm on and that's my daughter's words coming out of my mouth and, and saving lives because that's what she was going to do. She was going to change people's lives. Um, so I've stopped everything. Uh, I do occasionally do a podcast and thank you very much. And, and I occasionally do some uh, wrestling camps, maybe one or two a year, but there's more to my life than wrestling. There's, there's your family. And if, if your family's not good, then nothing's good. And so it's, it's a volunteer thing. I, I don't get paid for doing what I do, nor do I ask to. I, I just want to share and I just want to help someone so they're not dealing with what we're dealing with. And then I want other people to understand you got to be held accountable because there's, there's people out there like you and I that are dads that are making a living and, and, and trying to do the best for our families. And we don't need more obstacles than we already have. So uh, the foundation, it's a, it's a nonprofit. 
we, you know, we survive on donations and sponsorship. We don't, we don't get paid for what we do, but we do, we do appreciate the opportunities when people, you know, if there's a chance for a grant or something like that. And that gets us to the next town, the next city, the next state, and uh, to the next legislator. So you, you, the people that do see me on social media now, they see it's always with that cause and the foundation. Mm-hmm. And every once in a while, I'll drop a, a, a short wrestling clip from back in the day or, you know, say something about wrestling because that's in my heart forever. But uh, there's there's always more to it than just wrestling. And I think when people realize that about all the superstars and and even these conversations, like we love the business. We want to talk about the business. And and I think as long as we keep raising each other up and, and 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 doing those things, we can continue to enjoy not only professional wrestling, but this thing we try to wake up to and handle every day, you know, so. Yeah, I mean, it's the the foundation I find like, and and I, I, I think we all make decisions and it's like, as an adult, and for me, even at a young age, I always thought, you know what, I'm going to go out and I'm going to consume alcohol tonight, which means the car stays at home. And I think now with the day and age of like, you don't have to wait hours for yeah. taxis, you've got all these different things. It's about making the right decisions yeah. because, and, and I think as well, it's not just alcohol. It's like if you're an affected driver and my my wife's grandfather, you know, God rest his soul, uh, you know, before he passed away, he was had four car accidents in like 12 months and wrote car, like destroyed cars. And it came to a point where like I went, you know, fuck this. And I sat down with him and he was an old guy. And I said, why do you want to drive? He goes, because I want my freedom. Okay, cool. You've got four great grandsons. Okay. Yeah. Your, your, my wife, your granddaughter's son is 12, 12 months old at the time. You're driving for your freedom you have an accident and you kill a child that age. Is that worth your freedom taking that kid's life? Yeah. After that conversation I had with him, he went, here's my license. I'm done. That's it. I mean, and we, and we don't talk about it and it's crazy, right? That it has to come to that, that you have to put it right in front of people. But but speak like, Hey, I'm not against, I never said don't drink, do what you do, be who you are, but realize that the decisions you make affect other people. And if you know you're going to go and, and tie one on, have a great time. We're freaking wrestling for years. I'm not saying we didn't go tie one on. Nine times out of ten, you were in that hotel. You never left. That was the bar. That's where you slept. You know what I mean? And, and I'm not, I don't judge people. I'm saying right now we know what comes of this. And we have to be better at what we're doing. We have to – and this is – we have to be better as celebrities or – or, or superstars or whatever we are, we have to realize that what we're doing affects the people that pay our bills. Mm. And so we, our reputations are at stake. Everything's at stake. Everything now is judged right in front of you. And, and so that's why you'll see me, whether you're a wrestler, a, a, a baseball player, a football player, a celebrity, a government official, you're going to see me go after that person because they should be held accountable. Jeff, because- Jeff Hardy, Jeff Hardy, you know, prime example, uh, uh, Jimmy Uso, Sonny, you know, these are people that are like multiple time offenders and it's like, oh yeah, we're going to send Jeff away. We're going to get him clean and he's going to come back and do the big grant. Fuck that. How many opportunities can you give people? Yeah. Jimmy and- Uso. Oh, no worries. We'll, we'll make him tag champ. Like, yeah. <sighs> and it's, it's, it, that part's hard to swallow because. When is it more about not the bottom line? When is it about people? When is it about – and that's why you'll see me say, especially with Sonny, I'm very involved in this case nine times, and now she's killed someone. Yeah. Why did we get to this point? So I, I made a post and addressed the WWE universe. This has nothing to do with wrestling, but there's no bigger fan base than professional wrestling, and their voices need to be heard. What if they had killed, what if she had killed someone coming from a show? A car full of kids that went to pay money to go see this wrestling show. Why should fans not feel safe that their superstars aren't be the ones out there causing these crashes and things? So it's not about wrestling and it's not, and when I post about these, it's not about the wrestling business. It's about the individual. It just so happens that individual has to, happens to be a wrestling superstar 
Same thing as, a, as an actor. You could be a great actor, but if you make a dumbass decision, guess what? I don't care what movie you made. You made a decision. Yeah. You politicians up and down the line, or a regular guy. We have there's no there's no explanation, and there's nothing that that we shouldn't be accountable for. But people of name value should be held more accountable. Yeah, I I, I completely agree, and I. I... Yeah, you know, like I think you know the random guy isn't going to lose his job for getting pulled over for being over the you know the alcohol limit, but like when you're in the public eye and yes. you're doing stuff like that, learn from your mistakes number yes. one, and make sure you don't have that shit happen again. Yeah. But then again, learn from people that have lost family members like yourself and like some of the people that you talk to on a, on a daily, weekly yeah. basis. Will. And I think it gives you more of an understanding and a respect of you as yourself for being a human being and a respect for human life. Yes, exactly. Well, well said, man. Well said.